Hi, this is Angie. Welcome to Angie's Quilting Studio. Today, I wanted to show you some of my my makes from from Christmas for 2022. And now that Christmas is over and New Year's is done, then now is a good time for me to to show you all the quilts that I've made. Um, I started around September of 2022 and finished those Christmas Eve 2022. Some of the techniques that I've used are new to me, some I've done before. Um, they all are a lot of fun and I can't wait to, to do those again in 2023 and maybe even try some new techniques. But I will tell you what the techniques are as I show each quilt. Up is a simple applique I did for my soon to be two, two year old granddaughter. And this is just, I appliqued the butterfly on, I just cut it out. I actually cut out um, two pieces and reversed them to make the wings on both sides. And so there's, sorry, whenever you're doing quilting, you're gonna get a lot of thread everywhere. So you're gonna be picking out thread for a while. Um, so basically this is the same um, patches that I use I just kind of flip them to the side so to kind of make them look look a little bit different and the pantograph that I use I believe it's called petals or daisy petals something like that from urban elements and they're just a row of daisies just through here I've figured with the butterfly liking the flowers that I would put the the daisies on here the flowers and this one um, in the middle, I just did a simple meander. So I just meandered around the, the purple. And I didn't do any quilting to this because this is just a, just a row that I put in there, put two rows. Um, I will put the links down for these patterns whenever I do have patterns. There's a couple of them I don't have patterns to. I just made those up. Um, but when I do have patterns, which I do on this one, I'll put a link below. This was a free pattern, I believe. I can't remember where from, but I'll look for that and I'll let you know. Um, so yeah, this one was fun. And just a small little, like a baby quilt for her. I think it'd be perfect for cuddling on the couch, things like that. So yeah, this is for the two year old. For this one is for my three-year-old grandson and what I used here is type of a scrappy applique. I kind of got the method from Shannon Brinkley. She has scrappy applique and but she doesn't have this pattern. It's just something that I kind of use on purse. This is just doing personal use only so it's not business or anything. Um, for the, the fabric I got at the fabric store for the sky and the, the uh, grass and for the quilting, I just use a simple meander, but kind of a long, long meander to make it look like the grass was flowing and had a little bit of movement in the sky. Um, so it just did, a, a, did the same thing up here. I wanted a little bit, the, it wasn't very big. So I just used some extra border down at the bottom to make it a little bit longer. Uh, so there's that and there's the back of it. I just used this same fabric that I used for my other grandson. For the back of his, they both love dinosaurs, so that's going to be for the back of his as well. This one was a fun one, and um, this is for my granddaughter who is four. And just this is for personal use only, so I'm not selling this or anything. Um, I'm just showing you the technique that I use. Um, this was a little bit difficult for me because, uh, like I said, I'm still kind of new in my long arm. And I went through all of the black lines and I used my long arm to sew those, um, to quilt that. Um, I wasn't very good at going in the straight lines. I will need a lot more practice on that. Um, but I think it looks really good. What I do love about this that I've never done before was cathedral blocks. 
and I will do a tutorial on those soon. Um, basically, I just used a bit of fabric and I did some cathedral blocks. Um, if you look on Pinterest, you'll see what the cathedral blocks are. Like I said, I will do a, a tutorial on those soon. Um, I've never done the cathedral blocks. See, this is the all these quilts are a learning experience for me because these are techniques I've never done before. So I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I use this fabric, which is just, I think you just get that at Walmart in little fabric patches. And I have a lot left over, so I just cut them in circles and I just put them around the quilts as well. Um, black's not very forgiving. You'll see a lot of, um, you'll see a lot of lint whenever you're working with black. And my long arm was a mess after I got done with it because it's black everywhere. Um, for the back, I just use a simple um, fabric that I got from Joann's. These are little stars. Um, so I thought that was cute with the, kind of went with the fabric that I chose. Most of these quilts that I'm, I'm talking about now, I'm using just scraps from my, uh, my fabric stash. So I actually had Beauty and the Beast uh, scraps and I bought this panel, I believe, from Etsy uh, or eBay, I can't remember. Um, and I added the borders. So the black is added borders. And the purple is just some extra fabric stash, fabric that I had in my stash. So yeah, that's what um, the technique that I use here that is new to me is the cathedral um, blocks. Okay, this is another fun one that I did. This is a reverse applique for my granddaughter who will be five. Uh, next week so um this is just a re this is like i said reverse applique so this uh part i just did a, a lot of strips i think of one and a half inch strips and that's in laid those between my backing and my front uh, fabric and then i cut around it to make a reverse applique so it made a uniform i uh, did some a mane and tail and you'll see up above there's some stars that's also from reverse applique, so I just cut around those, made, it, made some stars. Um, with my long arm, I just meandered around all over the place. Actually, on this one, I didn't use my long arm. I just used my regular sewing machine because it was already quilted together when I made the unicorn. So I couldn't separate my backing and batting and the top fabric. So I went ahead and just, since this was a smaller quilt, I went ahead and just did meandered around with my regular sewing machine. And this is the back. She wanted purple and pink and blue. She didn't, she likes all the colors, so I gave her all the colors. This one is a Trapunto. Um, and the reason why it's called that is it uses extra batting, the fluffy batting, I think it's polyester, um, behind it, just really thick batting. I cut out my applique and I use that thick batting behind it and kind of cut away on this, the actual dinosaur, the, the piece, and in the back. And I sewed that onto it. And I didn't have a pattern for this. I just found a clip art video from um, the internet this was for personal use only, so I'm not going to use this for sale or anything like that. And I just enlarged it, and it's for my grandson. So um, that's what I used for that. For the quilting, I did that on my long arm. I buy all of my pantographs from Urban Elements, so I do have a pattern up at the top. It was a little, really difficult to do the pattern here. I could do it, but I'd have to stop and start, stop and start. So I just kind of winged it and just did a pebble pattern on the the rest of it from the head down so this is what it kind of looks like i'm still practicing with my long arm i haven't used it too much so um it's not the greatest but i think he'll like it he's seven so and this is the back of it it's just dinosaurs so i think he'll like that he can do a reversible if he wants to use it that way but yeah really simple uh clean uh quilt and I like how it turned out. I really like doing the Trapunto style um, to where it kind of pops out at you.
this one I've done before. Um, it's just a piece together quilt. I have pieced together the quilt before. Um, it's a trip around the world pattern. You see the, the pattern going around the quilt. I just added some border um, on the sides here. I wanted to make it a little bit, since it's this one's for my daughter-in-law, so I wanted to make it a little bit longer for her. Um, so I added at the bottom just some pieces that I had extra of the fabric and put those along the bottom to make it a little bit longer um, rather than wider. So uh, this, like I said, this is just a piece one. I did a meander around the, the whole quilt using my long arm and I made kind of a ribbon. Let me see if I can make it a little bit closer for you. Uh, you probably can't see that, but it just, I meandered around all up from one side to the other, and then I meandered back, but I made it in a different area. So it looks almost like a little ribbon. And for the back, I just found this cute, at Joann's, a cute fabric. Is it little bumblebees and ladybugs? She can have it reversible if she wants. last but not least this is the book review quilt from Missouri Star Quilt Company that's the pattern for this one this is for my daughter-in-law um, what I did here was a, a lot of a lot of piecing so it wasn't like anything different than what I'm used to it just took a little while to do um, actually it only took about a couple weeks so it, it wasn't too bad um, the flowers here they're they are applique so the base is pieced and what I used, oh, and also their picture was just the fabric that I transferred, picture transfer. Um, what I used as far as the quilting goes is called Reading Room by Urban Elements. And I'll zoom you in on that. I do like the border that is like a, it's called newspaper print. So that's the border. And the, the back is just brown. And I need to get my lint roller out. Um, but I was going to show you the reading room pantograph. So you can see here, there's some um, reading glasses. Um, here's a book. Right here is a book. And basically that's it. So you can go around and around and there's a book with a bookmark on it. This is one of my favorite quilts. It, it is kind of large. Um, I'll put the measurements down below as well because I can't remember, 79 by 72, I believe, something like that. Um, but these are all used from scraps or from my fabric stash, just scraps from there. So just cut a bunch of scraps on there, um, made the bookshelf. You'll see the top. That's the bookshelf. And it's so big that I can't show you all of it. This is the bottom of the bookshelf. So, um, but yeah, yeah, that one, I think this one is my favorite just because of all of the, I didn't realize actually whenever I started piecing this that it would be so large and so wide, but I really liked how it turned out. So that's it. That's the quilts that I made for my family for Christmas. And I can't wait to see what 2023 brings. So stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.